Dreamland music so guttural. That bass, dude. Yeah. Brandon obviously playing uh, the Fox Fruit Loop with Falco. Yeah. Um, I do know that Brandon prefers this matchup to the Falco Ditto, but he has been known to Falco Ditto. We might see that. I mean, he was the OG Falco for quite a while. Yeah, yeah. But uh, his Fox has been putting in a great amount of work. See why he's sticking with it. He reminds me a lot of Mango. Brandon to me is like a mini Mango. They even like play fairly similar. Well, their shield pressure is fairly similar. It's been pretty close so far. You can tell they're really filling each other out. Yeah. I always love the first stock neutral game. Yeah. What There's are your habits? What do you do? There are a lot of little pauses where they're like, all right, I just did this. How are you going to respond? Exactly. It feels so cool because the pace is always like, pow, 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 hit, hit, hit. Pause. <laughs> Pause. For Oop retaliating right now. It just doesn't seem like he can get anything started in terms of like combo. He's just racked up a whole bunch of damage, you know? Yeah. He hasn't been able to get like existing Falco combos. As DJ Nintendo would say, it's been kind of a slobber knocker so far. Yeah, pretty much. Ooh, oh, no more smash. Wow. The soft. He actually hit him with his jacket, dude. Like, yeah. Did you know Falco's jacket spiked? <laughs> Falco's jacket just has like a few bricks in it. <laughs> Falco's jacket is like Rock Lee's leg warmers. He takes them off. And then That's why he can't fly, dude. Oh. <laughs> he can't fly because he has too many bricks again, in his jacket. Dude, he hit him with the jacket again. <laughs> it's a conspiracy. Brandon, though, he's at a deficit, but it's actually not that bad. If he can not. close out this stock, which he does, uh, he has a really good shot. Plus, it's Fox. You can always just bloop, bloop. Oh, my God. I oh, know. Falling up airs, they're my favorite thing in the world. <laughs> I, I do love watching them. Uh, some solid pressure, but... Uh, Brandon comes back from this deficit. Yeah. He's completely changed up his style. Too. He has. He's gotten a lot of mileage. But, ah, push to the ledge. He's just like, empty hops, run up shield, throw out some back airs. And there it is, dude. Yeah. We got last lock situation. Oh, thirty-four yeah. percent, real clean. Nice shine back air though. Oh wow, I'm not sure if the laser helped him reach the ledge or not. Shortening is, is just amazing, so nice. Oh, those Falcon lasers. Oh. Luckily, he does not go for the spike. Ooh. Oh my God! Almost had some slick soccer oh. ride. That was the quickest dare. Straight into the ground. I didn't even think that dare would be able to do that. Yeah, he finally hit him with the boot, dude. He's like, there are bricks in here too, man. They're, they actually have metal prosthetic metal. legs. Yeah. So there's a joke that I, uh, uh, we throw around in, in the uh, Smash 4 world is that since Fox was, is better in Smash 4 than he is in Brawl, and Brawl is worse than he is in Melee, that time wise line, well, a time wise line. You know Timeline wise. Yes. <laughs> uh, that Melee is the final game. Oh. They end up getting metal legs after they've trained so hard in these previous other games to get oh, better and better. I like and that. And that's why they're the top tier character. I like that. And as we see right now, Falco got the metal implants too because yeah. he just knocked Brandon out on the first stock. Ah. And is keeping up a super solid combo. This is looking filthy right now. That's why Falco's dare hurt so much. He's just dropping on you with some metal legs right quick. Yeah. And a jacket full of bricks. <laughs> <laughs> Got metal legs in a jacket <laughs> full of bricks. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, if you guys haven't heard, we, we're, we're actually making a mixtape, Super Fire. Yeah, dude. Straight out of Foundry. <laughs> it's a new track. It is. <laughs> uh, we're having lots of fun out here, guys. Brandon, though, he brings it right back. Nice. Uh, he's been really good at kind of breaking up uh, the pace that Fruit Loop starts getting in. Correct. It's that Falco pace, you know, when you get into that combo groove. You get that momentum, great tech. Yeah. Into a, a good edge, I mean, recovery. Fruit Loop has been sneaking those dares in, man. He has. Oh. Well, another thing that, that uh, reminds me about Brandon, so much about Mango, is the fact that, like, Brandon also loves Yoshi Story, his number one counterpick all the time, if he can. So very mango esque. Oh, oh he's my having god, such a hard time recovering though. That's been such a tough spot. It just looks like Fruit Loop has caught on. Yeah. I mean, Fruit Loop's one of those guys who was always mentioned when people were like, oh, who are the best Falcos? Yeah, yeah. There will always be like in, in a million army thread or something, somebody be like, ah, oh, Fruit Loop. Y'all forget Fruit Loop. We're seeing why right yeah. now. He should not be forgotten. He's up one game right now, he's up a stock. And a whole bunch of percent. Yeah. 
But I mean, as we saw in the last game, Homie Waffles really brought it back. Oh my god. Oh my god. No jump. And he just ends up up being. And Fruit Loop takes over Homie Waffles 2 0. That was so cool. In winners, though. Yeah.